Alright guys, so I'm making some charcoal for the upcoming M1 Max. So as you can see here, I got the, the M1 here. This has actually got to get ready to be shipped. I'm done uh, testing it. This is actually a pretty cool machine. If you're looking for uh, uh, a bug out power source, this here is the machine to get. Don't bother with a direct wood gas system. This is uh, much more viable. You don't need equipment to run it. You can make a simple retort. I mean, this here is my backyard uh, retort. But you can do it at a much smaller scale, you know, if you're out in the woods camping or whatever. But uh, this here, I uh, replaced my, my uh, fire pit with a retort fire pit thingy. <laughs> um, I mean, an adapter. So basically what I have is a, a barrel sunk in the ground. It's just, um, it's not, it's unmodified, it's just a normal barrel. And then the top barrel has the, uh, the bottom cut, cut out, as you can see. And I have it flipped upside down because, uh, originally I had the air holes drilled in to feed it from the bottom. But, uh, it's too much air so I flipped it. So... I have a centerpiece with a, uh, a very loose grate. So basically as the fuel is uh, reduced down, um, it just falls through the grate. And you can uh, help that along because you know the point, the idea here is to um, reduce your fuel down to a certain point and then, and then stop that process. Um, otherwise you're just uh, you know, you're burning it completely away. So that, we don't want to do that. We want to uh, stop that process once, once we get to a, a desired point. So it's um, ready to have more fuel added. So I'm going to shake it down and add some more fuel. All right, so I'm gonna let that go for about maybe 15 minutes and then uh, I'll shake it down. All right, I don't think it's been even five minutes since I put you on pause, but I'm gonna do another shake down. So basically what's happening is uh, in the, the center, um, great, we're introducing air in there. The air goes in, we create a, we oxidize the fuel, the air travels up, and then the air in the, the uh, lower barrel is void uh, due to, to heat, heat rises, so it's going to push the, any oxygen or atmosphere out of the lower bucket. 
or a lower barrel. <coughs> so that'll allow the uh, the fuel to uh, to cool and become charcoal. And uh, that's basically it. Um, so we'll let this uh, continue to go on. Um, it's just about full. I might actually uh, might actually be over full. I'm not sure. Okay, it's uh, just about burned out, so I'm gonna remove the barrel, the top hopper barrel. Now I'm going to remove the grate. And I'm a little bit over full. pieces in there that aren't quite fully processed. Alright. Alright, so now if you look at the my lid, this is actually for a filter. Ooh, that got hot. So that that ring was for a bag filter. So I got that to deal with. I don't know if this will fit on here or not. It does. Alright, so now I'll degas. And then uh, when it cools, I'll uh, probably dump it into one of these or into these uh, steel buckets for further cooling. I wish I had more barrels, otherwise, I would use them. Now, once it's fully 